Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I am a normal here a little late, so I'm not gonna hold y'all. Just coming on real quick. I wasn't gonna come on because I'm like, it's election Tuesday and it's kind of a holiday for people. People are out and about. But I figured I want to say a, a few things. So y'all, let's come on in. Um, let me know y'all here. I'm gonna start it in a second. I'm not really gonna take long. Just not gonna be a full session. Just didn't want to not come on since I'm already on and on for two days. How was your weekend, guys? How um, have you been feeling? Uh, let me know how you feel. Um, and you know what? Uh, somebody messaged me and let me know that they listen from um, all the way in California. I was just like, whoa, that's dope. I'm in Chicago. Somebody in California is listening. That's super dope. So let me know you're here. What if you don't if you don't know me personally? Let me know where you're listening from, and share it uh, if you want to or if you can. Uh, I'm sure something on here will be helpful. Right. Hey, Bree, how are you? I heard you were going to take pictures. Be safe, honey. I know you will be. Um, Why I look so dark in my house? I don't know. Maybe, oh, it might be the time change, right? Like, I have light on in my, I have the same amount of light on. I got to figure this out. Um, It literally just looks like I'm in, in the dark in my house, and I'm not. Uh, I think it must be just because outside it gets dark so much earlier. Well, okay, so I'm not going to wait for everybody to come in. They'll see the replay. And if you're watching the replay, please type replay so I can know. Um, so I said, I don't know if you guys noticed besides um, um, me actually talking about the Black Lives Matter thing. I didn't talk much about this election and I did that on purpose. Oh, you say you're going to get a sandwich. Girl, I know you cover, so I know you're good. So go ahead and eat and go ahead and do your thing. Um, yeah, so besides the uh, besides the whole, um, you know, when the Black Lives Matter thing was happening with George Floyd and things, besides that, I have not talked about the election, and it was on purpose. Um, I found myself the last presidential election really emotionally and mentally drained. OK, while I understand the voting process is part of what we do and what we have, what our rights and that we very much need to engage in it. It was still very much draining for me. Right. Um, and so because it was drained, draining for me, I just I opted out of any. I opted out of excessive talking. Right. Um, and I, I opted out of. Um, you know, covering it too much. Bree, you said everything's already pre-boarded up? Wow. So people are expecting people to riot. That's crazy. Ah, jeez. Okay. Well, and and see, and I, I just, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't watch the news often. I, I do, uh, people say, well, then how do you know what's going on? Well, every once in a while, and I give myself maybe once a month uh, to, 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 to look through like CNN or whatever, you know, uh, website for news. I do that. That's my personal thing. Plus, you think if you don't watch news, you won't know. Believe it or not, everybody around you kind of does. Uh, hi, Albert. Um, so the reality is you get it, even if it's not directly. And I know people say, well, I want to know the source. Well, let's be honest. The media sometimes can be a skewed source, right? And so you still get it from their perspective. So I don't. I personally can't handle watching the news regularly, every day, okay? So I found myself um, still knowing that the voting process is very necessary and that we all need to be involved. Um, just being on social media, you see how many people have gotten really up in arms about it and about who you're voting for and the issues. And you know what? I, the one thing I'll say is it's very necessary for us to be involved and knowing what your thoughts are, what what your opinions are, and, and how you're going to go. This is probably, um, I think someone said this, it was good the other day, they said, this is the... Um, this is showing that apathy is, is decreasing and apathy is just not caring either way. 
and then not, it, and it leads to inaction. And so I agree. It's very good that people are getting involved in the system, the, the, uh, the justice, oh, I don't want to use the word justice system, but the voting, the democracy um, situation, because we're all supposed to be a part of it. However, what I want to talk about today is about how it can be all consuming and how that is very much not healthy. Um, a couple years ago, I actually, I think it was not last year, it was the year before, I think, or it might have been last year, but I uh, volunteered to work at a polling place. And I think everybody should do it at least once. That's my personal opinion because you don't really respect the, the process until you work on the back end of it. That's my personal opinion. You don't have to do it, but I think it's necessary for everybody to do it at least once, right? You get to see how much hard work is taken. it takes to do it. And then I also suggest not necessarily doing it on the, the, the year of the presidential election. Um, I didn't do it the year. I did that of the, I did it the regular election. And the reason it's necessary is because who you deal with locally has way, 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 way more of an impact on your life, right? Those judges that are local to you, the aldermen, the Senate, all those people. It's important that you know that information. And I really wish people would take and keep this energy and keep it when the right through all, you know, throughout your life, right? Not just with the presidential, but with the, the elections that are local as well, because they're very super important. Hey, mom. And so um, with that being said, I absolutely think we need to be completely engaged, but I also believe we have to be careful. Y'all know what I'm going to say, because I'm all about mental health here. We have to protect our peace. We have to protect our mental status. Let me tell you something, if you don't know already, and, and I'm sure you know this, there are a lot of people that are mentally, I feel like, super vulnerable here with their beliefs, and therefore they are willing to take some considerable measures uh, to, 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 to back whichever candidate that they think or whatever issues they think are important. Um, and it's getting to the point where it's actually quite dangerous. Hey, Auntie Cynthia. And so, you know, that's how you hear about people say, oh, be careful at the polling places. They're, they're doing things to people there. Um, and I remember someone telling me, oh, that's not, that's not true. And I'm like, it, it is true. It might not happen at your polling place, but it, it happens. And they're taking it to the extremes, right? Um, and, I, and, I, and that's very sad. Um, and then people say, well, they're, they're just, you know, stupid people or whatever. And they're, they're stupid people everywhere. But I, I, I believe that if we go a little deeper, it's not just stupid people. These, these are people who felt unheard. These are people who felt, um, ignored and somebody, and I'm not going to say who the somebody is, has preyed on their insecurities and their weaknesses and their mental status. And I'm very, I'm very passionate about that because I think it happens more than we think. People are easily manipulated when people know your weaknesses, right? And it's also why people a lot of time don't want to be vulnerable because if I open up to you what I'm passionate about or how I feel, if it's a narcissistic person or somebody who has an abuse of a power, they will go ahead and rile you up and get you to a place that you're not stable and you're doing things in the sake of justice. You're doing things in the sake of, you know, whatever. And now something is supposed to be a right and a personal decision. Now is a, you're ready to fight anybody who disagree with you. You're ready to disown people that you don't know due to something. Now, let me be clear. By all means, there are some things that are not easy for me to even talk about with other people. But, um... That's okay. Remember at one point there used to be a thing where you didn't talk about religion, you didn't talk about politics, and it was one of the things that you didn't talk about like at work or around certain people because everybody has their opinions and it's, it can get um, highly polarized really quickly. So um, my message today is just to say protect your peace. Guess what? If you want to watch the news and you want to watch the election results, go right ahead. But you don't have to. 
You're not a bad person. You're not uninformed if you don't tune in all night to watch what they're going to say in the commentary. Because if you feel, and as you're watching, you feel your blood pressure getting high, if you feel you getting upset, if you feel like you're ready to cuss, if you want to drink, if you want to do all those things, then it's not affecting you in a healthy way. And I know you guys are like, well, well, who doesn't feel that way? Exactly. Why I'm not watching it. Listen, I couldn't half watch the debates. And I'm just being very honest here. I did watch um, a, a little bit of each, but I didn't watch the whole thing. Because, again, when there's chaos, I have to protect my peace. You know, you get riled up and you get concerned and you get yourself all riled up when if you already did your part, there's literally nothing else you can do. There's nothing else you can do. You did it. You did your part. Be informed. Tell other people that they should vote. That's what we should do. We did our part. Whether you volunteered, whether you, you know, went out there to, uh, you know, get people from your neighborhood and take them. If you did that, bravo. I mean, that's absolutely a responsible thing to do. But once you did that, once these polls close, if you know that you're the type of person that your blood pressure gets up at this stuff and it gets you mad and you sitting up there shaking, because let me tell you, last year, I'm telling you, it was like this emotional, I mean, not last year. The last presidential election, there was like this emotional high up and down thing. And I'm telling you, it wore me out to the point I did not want to go to work the next day. I felt stressed out. I didn't sleep well. I remember having the next day just not feeling great. And even though I know what happened, for me, it was much bigger than that. There was there were so many feelings that were involved. Hey, JC. There were so many feelings that were involved that I found myself like it took me a few days to bounce back from that. Like for real, emotionally, mentally, physically. I was physically sick almost. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to allow myself. When we talk about not reacting, we talk about properly responding to a situation, not being reactive and being intentional about how we show up in the world. And I choose not to allow the winds of this election, which let's be clear, it's a lot of media influence, a lot of money, it's a lot of, you know, left side, right side. It's a whole lot of extra stuff in there that really is not meant to be there, but it's there. Um, it's pulling us and it's pulling us with these, the, with our emotions. And let me be clear, some of us, I'm looking at some of the comments and stuff and get, listen, you, you express yourself how you want to and, and, and it's pulling us and we're really thin in that area, right? We already got COVID going on. We already have the Black Lives Matter thing that happened with George uh, Floyd. Hey, uh, Errol. Um, and we have all these things happen. And most of us are poured very thin on our emotions. And it doesn't take much for somebody to say something for you to be ready to snap. It doesn't take something to happen for you to feel like you're pushed back into a place of, I don't feel safe. Oh, I don't feel supported. And I, I keep telling you all that it's very dangerous to be in a constant state where you feel um, that, that no one has your back. And I know some of you say, well, Paris, we're not naive. We definitely know nobody has our back. I can go further into that, but I choose not to. What I will say is this. Your perspective has to shift because guess what? This None of this stuff is new. Yes, it's coming to the forefront. I understand that it's, even if it's not right, sorry, it still is our reality for now. And I, I guarantee you, if you feel unsupported, if you feel nobody has your back, you are in a fight or flight um, situation in your life. And I'm telling you, it's dangerous to be there constantly. It's super dangerous. Your body reacts to it. You have chemical like things that are happening. Your emotional state is uh, very uh, sporadic. You have highs and you have low and you're almost like you're manic, right? You have to be very careful. Your body is not supposed to be there. And so what we have to do is realize that after November 4th and even after January 20th, the earth will not self-destruct. I'm going to say it again. After this election, the earth will not self-destruct. Whoever is chosen... We are still going to be here. I'm not naive to believe that one or the other will not be negative or positive. I'm not naive enough to believe that. What I will say is this. You're going to survive it. You're going to be fine. And you can thrive. Okay? We've had horrible leadership uh, many of times. And we'll be okay. 
and and I'm not and let me be clear, I'm not naive. Please don't 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 dis, don't be dismissive to what I'm saying because you feel like, well, I have the right to feel out. You have every right to feel how you do. I'm not going to take that from you. Hey, Corey, you have every right to feel how you do. What I'm doing is giving you a bit of a middle. Don't be such uh, don't don't allow this thing to have you so polarized and so on edge that now your health is affected. Let me tell y'all. I'm not an advocate of being a fear marker, but COVID is still out here. This is still flu. Um, before COVID, it's already flu. And uh, what's the name, Stacia? I don't believe in speaking things out on people. I, uh, but I do wholeheartedly believe that we have to be honest. And to be honest is to say, guess what? I can't afford for my body to be at a compromised state due to some election that, honest, once I do my part... That's all I can do. And now just watch how the cards play out. You don't have to over stimulate yourself by watching this thing. I know people, even when COVID happened, you know, I told y'all turn that freaking news off. People were watching those numbers every day going up and going down. How, how's Joe going up and going down? And it made them crazy. People were having anxiety attacks. People were dealing with real fear. People were having like panic attacks. You have to be careful what you bring into your consciousness. You have to be careful what you consume. And if you constantly consume negativity, whether you believe they're facts or not, you are going to get yourself in a place where you are constantly just operating at this heightened stage, which we're not, we're not meant to do. It's almost like to the... They say it's extreme enough to be like where if somebody had a gun to your head. If somebody had a gun to your head all day, every day, the way that you deal with, the way you move in life is going to be different versus if they didn't. And if you agree with that, then you have to hear this is a piece of that. Hey, Julia, love you, sis. This cut says we have to talk about this stuff because I think people are really getting themselves worked up. And again, I'm all about being in the democracy system, but... Sometimes you have to know when to uh, filter what comes into your consciousness. You absolutely have to. And um, so that fight or flight is almost like somebody constantly having a gun to your head. And so, you know, when you do things, it's 10 times more urgent. It's, you know, you feel like there's a urgent life or death thing here. And so um, I urge you guys to take care of your whole self. You know, if I don't talk about anything, I talk about how we need to be whole physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Take care of yourself. I'm going to be the advocate for you because guess what? Sometimes in moving and the hustle and bustle, hey, Jamont, um, we, we oftentimes don't take time to, to really look at ourselves and be more self-aware of how we, we allow things to wear down on us. And then guess what? When something happens, then all of a sudden, you know, people are like, well, what happened to you? Well, you know, well, you know I, I can't believe this happened to so-and-so when there are signs. And I'm, and I'm telling you guys, I'm watching a lot of you all. I'm watching you, a lot of you all really get consumed by it. Passion is fine. And I'm not going to take away from passion. Absolutely have your passion. Absolutely have your opinion. Absolutely voice it. But hear me. Turn it off sometimes. Once you've done your thing, you don't have to, you don't have to stay up to midnight watching these results. Let me be clear. Let me, let me give y'all some history. Some of these absentee ballots and things that have been mailed in and the mail and stuff, it's going to take a while for them to really, to really count it. And you already know this is going to be a close thing. Sis, get you some sleep. Bro. Sit down with your wife, sit down with your kids, and take a load off. You know, watch something that's not intense. And you know, I'm not a big advocate of watching TV all the time, right? But do something that doesn't cause you to be entrenched. You know, I am seeing people that are really emotionally thin right now, okay? I see people that are wore out because of this situation. And let me be clear. Let's, I'm going to be completely clear. Whatever happens on both sides, there are going to be people that are not happy. And so they're going to be how they are. So guess what? There's going to be some more drama after this all happens. Not that I'm speaking into existence, but it's just what it's going to be. So we can't control that. All we can do is our part. And I hope that you all voted and you did do your part. Now it's required that you go ahead and you give yourself unplug a little bit. I think for your mental health, you absolutely have to. I believe you do. I, I, I believe you have to. And I just want you guys to be okay. I know there are people ready to fight over this thing. And let me tell you something. As much as I have my beliefs, I'm not fighting anybody. Okay? 
I'm not getting into a verbal altercation. I'm listen. I have almost been dragged into like the you know, I, I would I would see something I didn't like. I would respond to it. And I don't normally do that, but I would respond to it, my passionate response, however I felt, especially if I thought it was just so egregious. And then it would start this back and forth. And then other people would get in. And I found myself there one day and I had to stop. I said, yo, what am I doing? I am arguing with total strangers on the internet about my view or about their view in the hopes that it's going to change them. I don't know what my whole purpose is. In the hopes of defending what I said, in the hopes of blowing up how they think. I'm not really even sure what I was doing, but I realized after I did it that it was literally just a waste of my energy. Literally. If I could have that 20 minutes back, I would go get it. And guess what? I'm typing like, you know, you know when you see the Kermit that's on the typewriter? Da, 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 da. I'm doing all that because I'm just going to tell this person about how wrong they are and how they are misrepresent they, they misrepresent us and that, all this stuff. And guess what? They probably didn't read it. Or if they did read it, they already had their mind made up. And then a lot of times people put out baked comments to get you and pull you in. And I realized, I, man, yo, I don't. I, I, my my piece is too, too. I I fought too hard for my piece to allow it to go with some stranger that doesn't know me. Or let's go further, some friend, associate, somebody on my friends list that says something. I'm not going back and forth with you. We can agree and disagree. Or if I think that what you're saying is too left, maybe you can just unfollow or unfriend. That's your piece in the season. You don't. You know, people say, well, you know, I can't talk to people if they feel this way and all this other stuff. Hey, that's your decision, and you have a right to that. But don't sit on here day after day engaging, going looking at the comments of certain things. Listen, let me tell you something. I read comments too, and I'm telling you, you can get, you can see, you want to know how ugly America is? Go ahead and get into a comment section of any news story. You will see how ugly America is. It didn't just get ugly. It's been ugly. It's been real ugly. But it's, it's starting to polarize, and people are starting to see it. And so, you don't have to participate. I give you permission to pull yourself out of that. And if you've done it, there's no condemnation here, right? Um, hey, Marcus. Hi, Shawanda. Hi, Makia. There's no condemnation. I'm, I'm telling you, to you have permission to withdraw. You're not, let, don't let anybody tell you that you're being irresponsible. Don't let anybody make you, like tomorrow when they say, hey, you didn't sit up and watch the election all night? Be like, no, I didn't. But you know, this is part of the, yep, mm-hmm, I, I voted. That's, that's what I did. That was my part. What you can do is get educated. What you can do is figure out what you can do locally to be involved throughout the year. Yeah, believe it or not, guess what happens? Stuff about your community, about the system, it happens all year around. If you're really passionate about it, volunteer at one of these offices with one of these people that you're passionate about, people that you think they're doing right things. Go ahead and do, do something that will really be impactful. But right now, if it's too much, if you feel heavy, if you feel stressed out, I heard somebody say, I'm going to throw up today. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Baby girl, don't let don't let don't let yourself get there. Cause whatever happens, I promise you the world will not instantly um it's not gonna instantly like combust. It's not. Even after the George Floyd things, people are like, I can't believe all the riots and the protests. Guess what? We survived those two, didn't we? Um listen, we are more resilient than you believe. The country, us people. Yes, horrible things happen, but We'll survive. Guess what? We're gonna survive past COVID. We're gonna surpass past all these survive past all of these things. So what what I what am I saying today? Bottom line. Protect your peace. Do something else. I don't suggest sitting up watching this election all night. I don't. Now, if you choose to do it, go right ahead. But if you notice that you just are feeling shaky, here's some of the symptoms. If you feel super shaky, if you feel your heart palpitating, if you feel extremely like polarized, either like super negative on this side or like super like emotionally high on that side, something's off. It's okay to be excited. It's okay to be involved. It's not okay to do it at your mental sanity. 
most of us have, um, we have moments where we're like mentally thin. We're worn thin, right? That's, that's, everybody goes through a point. Sometimes you're, depending on how you are, you're probably not self-aware that you go through it as well. And you think it's normal. And it's not. It's normal to have a moment, but if it's something that continues to happen, you need to be completely careful with how you engage. Especially if you have family, children, please don't be somebody that is in a worse off situation because you are pulling, you're allowing this thing to pull you in. So, um, there you go. Get some rest, guys. Do something nice for yourself. You know, normally I say for the weekends, do it. I'm giving you some election day, Tuesday. I'm giving you some weekend advice. What's the weekend advice? Self-care. Unplug. You voted. You did it. Some of the polls are still open. I think the 7 Central. If you're in different time zones, they might still be open. Who knows? If you still haven't voted, go vote. Please do. If you voted and you're done with it, give yourself permission to turn it off. And do something else. And then if and if you don't want to turn it off, go ahead and just keep your keep your keep be very conscious of how you're feeling. And if you know and you feel a shift and you feel yourself getting too upset, turn it off. Turn it right on off. I, I know what the tradition is. I get it. Turn it on off. Um, take care of yourself, guys. I love you all. I wish you nothing but the best. And you know how I'm gonna finish it out. You are enough. You are enough. You're enough, and guess what? You're enough that if you go to sleep right now, it's fine. <laughs> it's early, I promise you. If you go to sleep right now, it is okay. Or if you don't go to sleep and you just go ahead and do something for yourself, you are enough, and that's okay that you do that. You're no less involved. You're no less passionate. You're no, you're no less aware for you to really turn it off when you know you need to turn it off. And for some of you guys, I'm prescribing that you turn it off. I'm prescribing that you turn it off. You don't have to watch every little bit of commentary on social media. Mm -mm. Go read a book. Do something else. Go do something else. But remember, you're enough. And I'm going to say it every single day till you believe it. Yes, I will. I promise you I will. I'm going to say it till you get slightly annoyed. And guess what I hope? I hope you say it in your head. And you start to say it till you annoy yourself. And then guess what? Maybe guess what? You might actually start believing it. That's what I'm here for. For you to believe that you're enough. All right? Love you guys. Have an amazing day. I love you, Julia. I need you to say I vote, I vote, and that's where my piece is, seriously. Hey, and listen, you already know how I feel that way, but I just want everybody to be good. Uh, hey, Tracy, you were on here, and I, I'm, I'm getting off. I didn't want to be on too long. The replay will be up, so if you didn't catch it, uh, go back and watch the replay. Um, but love you all. Have an amazing rest of the evening. I'll be back on here Thursday and we will talk about something else besides the election. I promise you, I'm not. I gave y'all one day. I will not be talking about the election on Thursday. Nope. This is my day. I did it. I'm done. No more election talk. Love you guys. Hey, Crystal. I, I miss you, boo. We'll talk soon. Um, I'm getting off of here, but if you want to watch the replay, it's up. Um, I suggest everybody to. And share, please. Share, share, share. Used to, I used to say don't share. But now I realize you don't know who else needs this. And I believe a lot of people need this message today. So please share it with somebody. Even if you just share it on your page, you don't know who you could help. You don't know who could be um, going through it and just need the permission to say it. I know people are like, well, who are you to give somebody permission? You don't know. Sometimes people need to just know it's okay. They'll feel guilty without somebody saying it's okay to turn it off. I'm telling you. Everybody else said, be, be, be woke, stay engaged. I'm saying, turn it off. Once you vote it, turn it off. Be done. Whatever happened is what happened. There's nothing you can do. Why well, get your blood pressure up about it? That's how I feel. Okay? Love you all. Have an amazing evening. I'll see y'all Thursday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's talk. And it will not be about the election. <laughs>